do rag wisdom here folks and uh, today's earth date is y2k 17 point oh four point twenty six and this script that I wrote for you essay was written on the 25th and uh, this letter I wrote and it's going to be sent to the London Times I haven't sent it out yet but I'm going to send this to the London Times it's about the movie Threads and this movie th is, a, is extremely important to me um, it is the greatest movie or one of the greatest movies ever made about nuclear war and it was made in in Great Britain uh, in uh, 1984 and uh, I, the first Do-Rag Wisdom broadcast uh, contained a clip from this film and it was censored by YouTube by the request of the BBC and then I tried to post it again and uh, again the same thing happened this is an outrage and this letter I promise you will be sent out and I will what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send a a uh, snail mail letter actually written like this and I'm gonna send a um, email if I can I don't expect this to be printed it doesn't have to be printed but I hope that somehow this movie will be a, will be able to be a, distributed to this entire planet. All right, here we go, and and again, this is dedicated to the future of the human race that I often despise, but to the innocent children who are alive today, who are going to grow up in this crap that we baby bunglers are leaving behind for them. The London Times, dear editor. In America, we have a daft bugger pretending to be President of the United States, and I hope that he doesn't blow up Sheffield, among other places. I mention this town because it was featured in one of the greatest nuclear war movies ever made. Mick Jackson's and Barry Hines' Threads, which has tragically been co-opted by your BBC which seems to be denying its worldwide distribution. And if there's any time in world history that we need this film, this great work of art, this is it. In the era of terror, murder, birth or bastard. Threads premiered on British TV, methinks, 23rd September 1984 and came out the same year as the overrated The Day After. While the latter was a high-minded disaster thriller with an all-star cast, Threads, on the other hand, was a work of art with ideas and images that I will never forget the rest of my life. Unlike The Day After with its all-star cast, Threads had a cast that I was not familiar with and was glad because I was able to appreciate the characters as if they were real people and not Hollywood stars. To me, director producer Mick Jackson and scenarist Barry Hines might as well be Orson Welles and Herman J. Manikowitz, the co-creators of Citizen Kane, considered the greatest movie ever made in America. Because not only was Threads a great film, it was also a work of magnificent, grotesque art. I've studied the picture by viewing it many, many times. It is not easy because I rarely am able to get through the, the picture without weeping. Seriously. Every character in Threads has something and someone to feel affection for. Has a thread with. Jimmy Kemp has his parents and his wonderful bird aviary. Ruth Beckett has her parents and her cuddly cat. Mayor Sutton, who will soon have to dig his way out of a grave while trying to fight the chaos and death of nuclear nightmare, has his office flowers. All these threads. 
The film consistently and intensely sticks with its theme that all of us, all living things, are threads in a fabric. And when the fabric is strong, it stays whole. But when it is frayed and torn, it is destroyed. Cenarius Hines has a narrator who intones at the be film's beginning that all of us are together, and this makes us strong. But it also makes us vulnerable. Threads should be required viewing in educational institutions and required viewing for all sensitive people who do not want to see us incinerated to nuclear dust. By having threads viewed by the entire world and especially by the birther Trump Putin maniac bastard will be difficult because the film is only available on a Region 2 DVD format and cannot, cannot be played in the USA unless you have purchased a multi-region DVD player like I have. The USA is a Region 1 DVD area by the way. Americans are missing a vital piece of cinema, television, drama, and history because in part a lot of love went into making this film. Okay? It helped, it is helped by the research of leading scientists at the time, including the late great Carl Sagan. Threads is the only nuclear war picture, okay, to ever depict a nuclear winter. In fact, as intimate as Threads is in how it presents its characters, it is epic in its scope. The film's timeline goes from two months before the attack and ends 13 years plus after the attack and yet keeps its story focused on the inhabitants of and the tragedy of the town of Sheffield in England. And I visited that town on Google Earth and I went through the street view. I bought, as I said, a multi-region DVD Blu-ray player just so I could buy the Region 2 copy and study it for the great cinematic techniques it uses. But I was appalled, absolutely appalled, to discover that the BBC's version lacks the music used during the brief main titles. And I know that they did wrong because Mr. Jackson wrote me a note. The director himself wrote me a note to the fact on a post of mine he answered on the Internet Movie Database. Not only does Threads deserve wide release all over the world and in the USA, it deserves a digital cleanup to perfect its images. And it deserves a special edition with interviews, commentary, and background. I wish Criterion would put it out. I consider myself a lover of the movies, the moving image, the art of the moving image, and Threads is the apex of great artistic filmmaking. I beg you, please, I'm writing this to the London Times, appeal to your BBC to release this movie to wide release in all regions before the daft bugger-in-chief instigates a world conflagration destroying beloved Sheffield and the entire world with it. I was introduced to the expression daft bugger from Threads. In an early scene, working class father of three, Mr. Kemp finds out that his adult son Jimmy made his girlfriend, upper class Ruth Beckett, pregnant. Kemp sarcastically asks, what are you going to do now, you daft bugger? I put the subtitles on, on the DVD. Jimmy declares that he plans on marrying the girl and they are not having an abortion. The younger son, playing his video game in the background, wants to know what an abortion is because, because his older sister is making jokes at her older brother's expense. It is a simple, warm family scene played with some humor. Especially when the youngest son's mom says she is going to give him a hiding if he doesn't stop saying abortion. 
It is one of those early intimate scenes that make us care about the characters soon to be destroyed by nuclear war. Again, Threads is a work of art. And shame on the BBC for suppressing it in the USA and anywhere not Region 2 during a horrific time in human history. When we need it most. <laughs>